Hello True Believers, and what we have here is another review, and this time it's a review of my Maui Gym Makai, they're like style 150 replacement nose pads. Okay, see these are the replacement nose pads as you can see. And the reason why I had to replace them because these I got in the 90s, and I was in college when I got these, I used to wear them. Uh, I, I wore them in college all the time, everywhere I went, because it, because I went to college in sunny Southern California. So it, I had to have a pair of sunglasses, especially for driving, because it never rains in Southern California. So after you're talking about over, this, these sunglasses are over 30 years, and as you can see, they're still going strong. But the only problem with them was my nose pads. So let's take a look at what these sunglasses look like here in front. You, they're they're kind of mirrorized and they're like the coolest looking glasses ever and one of the reasons why i got these back in the 90s was because of the matrix I, after i saw the matrix i wanted to get the same sunglasses they were wearing they all wore sunglasses they were all cool and they all had the same i wanted the same kind of matrix style of sunglasses and this is why i got them and I've loved them ever since. They actually fit my face, even though I have uh, a very low nose bridge and fat cheek face. This doesn't hit my cheeks or my eyelashes. The only problem is it is my eyebrows. But th that didn't bother me just as long as it didn't, I mean, I can't have everything just as long as it didn't hit my cheeks or my eyelashes. And I like the way they looked. I like how they were oval. I like how they were mirrorized. So I was very happy with them. See? So the problem came in was I, I started wearing them again. And the problem was that the nose pads are, as you can see, are yellow. And a lot of the, the, the properties that make them good nose pads is gone now. So they, they were like slipping off my nose. As you can see, these used to be, I'm sure they used to, these used to have like a, they were probably white before. Now, as you can see, they're like this yellowish brown with all this kind of this green gunk all over it. So it was constantly like slipping off my nose, off my face, wearing these sunglasses. So I, I told the boss, I go, can you look into Shopee and see if there's any replacement nose pads that will fit this? And I was worried because these are these sunglasses are over 30 years old, but they're kind of timeless. I mean, the mechanism behind them are not, it's not really that complicated. So we got the, this, so she got a kit. She got a nose pad kit with a variety of different, different types and styles of nose pads that are actually screw in. So I'll tell you what this, and it was like 72 pesos, so like a hundred, like less than a hundred pesos, which is like less than $2. So it was definitely worth the investment because it, I needed something that wouldn't slide off my face. So here's, so it, can, it comes with extra screws and it comes with these screw in nose pads, but these are not the ones that fit into my nose pads. So here's some extra nose pads and here's some like foam pads. I'm not sure exactly how to use them or where to use them. But here's some extra silicone nose pads. So silicone is usually the material of choice when it comes to nose pads because of their non-slip feature. So, but as you can see, these are pretty big. They're probably like closer to 20 millimeters. And the ones that we, that we were seeing are like more like 15 millimeters. So they, they weren't, there weren't that many that were that big. So we decided to try these ones and for less than $2, it was at least we wouldn't lose any much money if, if they didn't fit. So we decided to try these out. And actually these are the ones I was interested in because of the metal, because of the medic, metal attachment. Because this is, if you look over here, this is metal also. And not like the silicone, which is not you, you stick it in there and it's going to be like bending all over the place and it won't fit in versus the metal it just kind of the metal material so i needed something the same as this so this is what we we got this for for these ones over here so it came in two colors gold and silver 
So here's the gold version, as you can see. And then over here is the one that I installed, which is, I mean, look, I mean, you could probably get away with gold over here also. So this is like a, a backup pair, but this actually looks much better, this silver kind of chrome finish, like that. And I actually tried it on after I installed it. So I just, so I unscrewed it. There's like these two screws over there, unscrewed it, pulled it out and put these nose pads in. I was worried for a, for a moment because look at the size of these nose pads. And I was worried what the fit was gonna be compared to the replacement nose pads. Okay, this is, this is the gold version, which is not what I used, but I, I can use it because there's some, there's some of this kind of color towards it but I, I but this this silver kind of chrome look was much better i was worried about the the size look at this thing this thing is double the size of this and what is how is it going to look so i was worried is it going to fit so the the attachment points are the same as you could see this one just has a bunch of my gunk nose gunk like over the 30 years that's why i needed to i mean i could have cleaned this up but the the silicone features the not the the non-slip features of the silicone was disintegrated already because it's because look at it already yellowed so i needed a new replacement no pad nose pads and voila Unscrewed it, installed it, and there it is. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And if these wear out, then we have replacement ones. But after 30 years, I'd probably buy new ones because these will, I mean, like any rubber silicone over the years, it's going to deteriorate. So if these last me a good five years or 10 years, it's definitely worth the two, the less than like dollar investment for it. So look at that, pretty good, pretty good. So I, I breathe a new life into my 30 year old sunglasses by just replacing the nose pads and everything else is still perfect. The hinges are perfect. The rest of the lens is perfect. The frame is perfect. I, I, I love these so much. I bought a second pair, but my problem was I bought a, a rimless which was I was just handling it and it like broke on me actually I'll, I'll show you in another video what it looks like I was so devastated because they, they were so light <coughs> <coughs> and they were so cool but the lenses broke but I think well, we could still use the frame though and what we're gonna use them for heroes glasses but anyway these i'm very happy with these replacement nose pads i'm just gonna probably tune up the rest of these screws make sure they're tight and continue enjoying these sunglasses yes they were very expensive when i got them in college but as you can see they're worth the invest investment get a good pair and what makes maui gym the best sunglasses is because they use real glass so they're clear and they're polarized and i've enjoyed them ever since and they protect your eyes, especially from the har harmful sun UV rays. So you should invest in a good pair of sunglasses like these Maui gyms and the last year forever for 30 years. And all you have to do is spend less than $2, like a dollar and a half and replace the nose pads even after 30 years. It's still get a classic look and it's never going, going to go out of style. Okay, so that's my review of the replacement nose pads from Shopee for 72 pesos. And I am in love with my sunglasses again, and I will be wearing them more often because they're not sliding off my face anymore. Okay, that's today's review of replacing nose pads. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. This is Bell Tony. Thanks for watching.